Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to display total on top of stack chart in SSRS report. A stacked bar chart displays all series stacked in a single bar for each of the category. And uh, what we are going to do, we are going to prepare our SQL and then uh, create the stack chart report with the totals. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look on the query. First of all, if you see here, I have select region, country and item. So I, Region is my category, countries are my series, and then item solds are my values. So let's run this query. Now, you can see North America, Asia, and Europe, and uh, these uh, are our category, and these are our countries are our series, and these will be the values, though will be sum for our stack chart. Now, next query that I'm using with union is the total or sum of item solds by region so that's what we will display in these uh, series so let me run this one and if you see here now we have this uh, category and in the series uh, these are the countries uh, and then next uh, what we have uh, zz that's the total uh, and this is the value so this is some of these values uh, and for europe uh, category we have these countries uh, and then uh, some of these one will be this one uh, so we will display these values so it's kind of trick we are playing here i have used zz here because if you have some values and you uh, let's say you use total here and uh, there could be values that they come after t in those cases our order will mess up and we will not be able to show the values on top of that uh, bar so that's why i use double z actually here so we have zz and make sure there isn't any value uh, in the categories or actually in the countries that start with ZZ. So uh, I will say even you want to put another Z, that's fine. Uh, just to make sure none of the values in your series will start with the, those letters. Otherwise, uh, your order can mess up. So let's copy this one and take to the SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Now here in the reports tab, right click and add a new report. I have already created the shared data source, so I'm not worried about that. But if you haven't, you create a new one. Let's call this one stacked, uh, stacked chart total. Now in the data source, point to the shared data source. So let's call this one dset sales, sorry, ds sales this is data source and we are pointing to share data source hit ok next the data set add a data set and let's name this one d set sales so data set is a result set returned by your query that can be select query or a store procedure in the select query you can have a table views or functions from where you will be selecting your results now paste the query here and hit ok now in the design surface right click and go to insert and chart and the very first one is column these are the types of the charts uh, available in ssrs uh, so select the column and then uh, select the stacked uh, column hit ok let's move this one to the left uh, make some space so let's make it bigger we can see the things clear now once you click here you will see chart data and you have values uh, so values are the sum of those items sold so these are the we can add that here and call the item sold and you can see that uh, right here th this is how they will be displayed on y-axis uh, we can see that and here these bars are going to be the values actually values so these bars the height of these bar depending upon the sum of those values and here you have a b c these are called categories and we will be displaying our region on the categories so for each of the region this bar will be having values so those will be sum of items sold so let's preview the data now as of now this chart is a column chart this is not stacked chart uh, as of now because we have not added any series and once we add the series these bars what we see for these categories they will be divided further into the those series in our case those are going to be countries so for asia this is the values we have and for europe and north america these are the values we have so let's go back to the design and now what we are going to do we are going to include the series and so once we include the series 
we will see different colors on those bars and if you see here in the Asia I have a red uh, color for India and uh, kind of gray for Pakistan and then uh, this uh, dark blue is the total that's ZZ so that's the total now I need to display the value instead of these colors and this is also for Europe I see this light uh, sky color and then orange and uh, this is for Germany and France and this is a big bar that I see for uh, the ZZ so that's our total for that we have produced by using SQL command now go to design and click here and then show data labels let's see the data and as you can see that seven is for India and three for Pakistan that make it sum to the ten and 17 is for France and two is for Germany and that make it to 19 so the totals are coming correct so let's go ahead and remove this big dark box or whatever you call this one and uh, just leave the values there so those will be our total values though. so I'm gonna go back here click on this uh, bigger uh, bars any of them and then uh, I'm gonna go to the series properties uh, and here if you see in the fill uh, we have automatic the color is coming automatic what I want to do I want to find uh, the ZZ value and just uh, make that as a transparent uh, so I will write if statement and I will say if a country name of the value is equal to ZZ I want uh, the color transparent otherwise uh, automatic is just fine with me but uh, when you see ZZ I want that uh, transparent so that will uh, make this trans transparent and uh, that black uh, big uh, uh, blue or dark blue will be gone so it okay So this is how your values will be looking like. Now you are pretty much done here. You are seeing the total for these stacked uh, series values or the sum of these uh, values on the top of your chart. But there could be further things that can be done here. One thing, let's say you are not interested to see these numbers on each of the series. You just want to see the total on top. So let's go back and fix them. Now click on uh, these numbers here and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, right click series label properties and uh, here in the general you have label data so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna write the expressions again so I'm gonna say if uh, the country value is equal to ZZ then uh, what you do when then display the item sold otherwise uh, don't display anything so that's what I want to do because I want to show the total and ZZ is the total for me in case and I want to when this value is true for country I want to display the total item sold and otherwise I don't want to display anything so that's fine hit ok yes review the report now you can see that we have the total on top of them and uh, these uh, series uh, the values for the series are gone so that's great one last thing is left here we see the ZZ in the series here we don't want to display that as well so let's go ahead and fix that go to design and here on the countries uh, that series press F4 once you press F4 you will see the label come here go to expression and here we can write our expression again so I'm gonna write if uh, the country value is equal to ZZ then don't show anything otherwise show the country and uh, parenthesis close hit ok review and as you can see that ZZ is also gone so that's how you will display the total in the stacked chart report thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video